My name is Bonnie Carlson and I'm an acrylic painter. My subject matter is mostly trees, but I do landscaping and abstraction. Um, my trees are inspired uh, by um, nature, obviously, and sometimes my inspiration comes from other areas. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that, and I brought this painting in because I wanted to talk a little bit about the path the painting takes from the time it's inspired to uh, where it ends up. Um, I was curating an uh, exhibit for an environmental show, and I wanted to put one of my pieces in. Um, I was waiting for inspiration for another for a piece for that art show, and um, it was getting kind of late, so I was kind of concerned. But I was up at my cabin, and it was getting light out, and I was in front of the fireplace, and I kind of grabbed a um, magazine and started looking through it, and I saw a painting with beautiful colors in it. And um, I thought, oh, what a neat bird. And I thought, well, I can incorporate this into my exhibit. So later on, it got light out, and I got my glasses out, and I went and got my magazine, and I turned it uh, to the page. And it was a, a picture of um, wilted lilies. But nonetheless, that was my inspiration, so I went with it. And um, I painted this. And sometimes paintings come with what I call uh, grace, in other words, this just was painted so quickly, and so sometimes that happens with us artists, and uh, so that was a, a nice thing. Uh, then it went into the exhibit, and after that I got a call from uh, Gail Pope, who has Bright Haven. It's um, a place for animals that are disabled or been abandoned and so forth. She wanted me to uh, jury an exhibit that would be a benefit for them with uh, Jack Stuppen, so I went there and I brought my picture of, of an animal. When I came to the door, she says, I have to give you a hug. So she embraced me, and then she told me the story of a raven that had been injured, um, hit by a car, and it was brought, and they um, restored it to almost full health, but it couldn't be um, let go. Um, and it was illegal to keep a raven, even though she had uh, four emergency doctors on call, a fully um, supplied um, emergency room. Uh, the fishing game showed up and euthanized the bird on the spot. There was nothing that she could do about it. Um, that touched her so much, hence the hug. <laughs> uh, this became a commemorative poster, so again the path that it has taken. Um, she inspired me. I um, you know, donate to her organization and other organizations uh, that uh, in are inspired uh, by through the environmental paintings that I do. So I've become a member of some of the environmental organizations. Um, every year I get um, a note from Gail about uh, thanking me for the, um, the painting and uh, she looks at the commemorative poster and is in, um, reminded of her beloved colon, a ra the raven's name. And um, to me, that's, that's the true reward of being an artist, even over above um, the sale of a painting. So I was really thankful um, to have this be such a good expression. Not all my paintings do that, but I'm really glad that I have one and I can't sell this one. <laughs> um, I have prints of it, available of it, though. And so thank, for, thank you for letting me um, tell my story. <laughs>